Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome to another episode of Herb's Comic Book Journey. So today's episode, we are going to embark on my favorite character, the Black Panther. He's my favorite character because, number one, he is the first black superhero. Um, he and the reason why, well, we don't know the reason why because, I mean... It's black, <laughs> um, but seriously, uh, the he is the first black superhero, uh, and not just of superpowers, but he's the first black hero that's been put out on mainstream comics, uh, way before the Green Lantern and DC Green Lantern in DC comics, uh, way before the Falcon, way before uh, Blade, and so on and so on, Luke Cage. Um, just to name a few, he was the very first uh, super black superhero that uh, that was out there. Uh, just uh, a little quick info on him: uh, he made his very first appearance in Fa uh, Fantastic Four issue number fifty-two and fifty-three. Uh, but the one we're going to get into today is it was uh, the Black Black Panther, who is Black Panther. Volume One. Uh, it's a series that uh, was written in 2000. That was started off written in 2005. Um, you can also uh, look it up on. Um, they have the Marvel Comics uh, app where you can go and download different uh, comics, so you can go and check it out. Uh, but yes, uh, this story. This story talks about. It's the origin story of. The Black Panther, and it goes way back to fifth uh, century uh, A.D. Um, and it basically was talking. It starts off where you see this tribe trying to invade another uh, country, and this country is Wakanda. So, as they get closer and closer and closer, they see that hey somebody steps on something and you see this trap just impels this one guy. And then you see another one as they start running off, another person gets impaled and another person gets impaled till then it, the, the tribe gets lesser and lesser. And, um, you see all these arrows just fly in the air and it basically like 300 blocks out the sun and just, slaughters the whole entire uh tribe other than uh, except for one and all of a sudden you just see like tell your tribe don't come back it's kind of badass i was like damn nobody from that other tribe that just slaughtered them even showed their face next thing you know uh they go to 19th century a.d um and you find out, yeah, same type of shit's going on. They're trying to, you see, except it's the white men uh, who are trying to invade that uh, country of Wakanda. And you start to see that uh, some of the natives from that uh, from that that country is not Wakanda, but you see the natives of the African natives that's uh, helping them move their equipment and their weapons around and they're like you know what we good we went out and they're like no. and the white guys are like no you're gonna stay here and you're gonna finish the job and they're like yeah well we're leaving <laughs> and so in the midst of that they basically just slaughtered the, uh, the white man just killed them all and they proceeded to take their stuff and roll on because they're hell-bent on trying to do what the natives have already showed you. Hey, alert, alert. Maybe you should leave now because we're not fucking with them <laughs> and you're paying us and we're still saying, nah, we good. So <laughs> that should tell you something. That's the first alert. Uh, then they look, they see uh, this big statue coming from uh, Wakanda and they're like, okay, we need to go ahead and uh, try to uh, make a plan so we can invade them. Then you see the Black Panther. 
y'all need to leave. <laughs> and I'm going to give you one chance to leave now, and you can go ahead and take care of yourself. They're like, the hell with that. So they try to start shooting. And before they can even get the shooting, Black Panther takes out all the people who was holding, pretty much all the people who are holding guns, except the leader. The leaders, and that should be, that should be number two. Alert number two. Hey, maybe you need to get the fuck out of here now. Nah, he's still hard headed and he thinks that he can do it. He gets a cannon and, oh, what do you know? The cannon's taken out. <laughs> Maybe you guys should leave. Alert number three. I think they I think they finally took the hint. Uh, but just it shows the badassery of the Black Panther. And um it's the origin story. And um then it goes into today, um present day time, and you see people are in DC trying to figure out what the hell is going on with this place. Uh, we need to go ahead and, and find a way to invade this uh, pl this small country. I mean, this is nothing but um, just farmers and and native people. There's nothing there that they that because they're so secluded that nobody knows that hey, this is like there's a reason why nobody, the French, the English, the Russians. Nobody has been able to invade them. And it's just like, come on, Lima, they, they, they're not going to get invaded. They've never invaded anybody else because they want to stay to their self. Um, and the government is trying, the U.S. government is trying to figure out why. So they have uh, an agent, um, Agent Colston, uh, is basically filling them in. Uh, hey, uh, this is what's going on. They have this guy named the Black Panther. And it's basically kicking everybody's ass. And nobody can beat him. And so the more and more the the white government official is like, no, we need to go ahead and take them out. This should not be a problem. Uh, nobody can take them out. Uh, we could get, we, nobody's taking, being able to take them out. We can get special ops. Yeah, about that. We, we tried that. Didn't work. Oh, I'm talking about the, these special ops. Talking about Captain America. Yeah, that didn't work either. <laughs> so, and uh, Captain America didn't say why he was going in there. I'm pretty sure around that time he was trying to, uh, it was during the World War II. So, but yeah, in the midst of that, um, Captain America tried to make his way through and proceeded to get his ass whooped by the Black Panther. And uh, so, but it also says as far as like, you see this white guy, this other white guy who's basically filling, filling them in on who what's going on with that, uh, that country of Wakanda. And yeah, so in the midst of all that, uh, that is, that's pretty much the gist of the first, uh, the first issue. Um, but yes, it's, and that, and that person is, uh, Ulysses, uh, Ulysses Claw. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but yes, that's pretty much who it is. Um, and it's setting up for the next few uh, issues. Uh, I've read a few already. I'm on uh, issue number three. It's a really good story. I think you guys need to check it out. Um, Wakanda forever. Uh, and by the way, uh, today, I believe Black Panther is on Disney Plus. So give them a, uh, give it a look. It's always good to look at... Uh, Black representation in superhero superhero comics, because um, it gives us a, a chance to be represented correctly. Um, another uh, thing that uh, Rick took uh, took the time out to tell me about: uh, a lot of people uh, was upset at the fact that back in the day, when it first came out, I believe it was nineteen seventy seven or sixty seven. I'm not sure exactly what year it was. I want to say it's 77 when black uh when the black panther came not 67 i believe 67 when the uh, black panther came out um I'll, I'll write it on there to let you know which which year it was um but yes it's uh when he came out uh a lot of people was like more white people need to be in it 
Okay, so uh, when they when the creator uh, put it in there, it was the KKK, and apparently <laughs> he uh, <laughs> the Black Panther beat the dog shit out of the KKK. When I find out that issue, I'm definitely going to give that one a read. Um, but so far, uh, I'm thoroughly in entertained with uh, this character. Uh, he, he's he's represented well. And um, I think you guys should all take a look at it. It's a very good uh, sh uh, comic book series. It's called Who is Black the Black Panther? Uh, part 1. Uh, I believe it's the six uh, issues that you need to check out because it's really fun to watch, uh, really fun to read. And um, yeah, just give it, a ch give it a check. And until then, this is Herb's Comic Book Journey, Wakanda Forever. Uh, but yeah, all joking aside, uh, check it out. It's great. And uh, until then, see you guys later. Deuces.